Guys, gals, and minions, it is me, Noir Proxy, and welcome back to the infamous First Light livestream on Twitch.tv. <laughs> and we've been through so much so far. As we know, Fetch's brother Brent has been kidnapped, and now we're basically pwning everybody. We've got loads of abilities, and I just had a grenade shoved up my ass, and then I got thrown off a building. It was pretty exciting so far. Look at that in the first, like, ten seconds. Loads of shizzles happening. But still, we must move onwards now. Does anyone else think we should move onwards? We've got loads to do. We've now... Uh, what are we doing? We've, we've joined forces with an arms dealer or something. And so, yeah, that's going to be interesting. It's going to be quite scary what's going to happen here. Is it? Is that a good idea, though? I mean, aligning yourself with a arms dealer or a drug dealer? I mean, I thought it was that like they got addicted to drugs later on or something. I don't know. I just murdered someone by kicking him off a building, though, which was really, really, really awesome. But anyway, let's move onwards. Let's go this way. I wonder, actually, if you can go to the other side of the city. Because remember, it's kind of like Gotham City in the Arkham Origins games, where you have the city, obviously, but it's split in between two... Well, like a bridge, obviously. And so, I'm kind of curious, do you think we'll be able to go over there? Isn't it like all Chinatown and stuff down there? I think so. But still, let's move on. We're going to find out what's next. I'm really, really excited, as I mentioned. And I hope you means are excited, too. One thing I'm really, really happy about, though, is that I've noticed in the comments that one or two you've gone to actually play the game, which is... Fantastic! That's excellent! So we're actually helping support the game, raising awareness for it, and it's good as well that you actually think it looks awesome. I mean, that's that's basically, you're basically doing a really, really awesome job of supporting the gaming community, the games industry itself, and just helping these games grow and show that we can have more games like this. I mean, I assume the more successful this game gets, the more expansion packs we might get, like Eugene or something like that. You, you never know, you never know. But anyway, let's move on with so. I think we're just going over here. Just over here. And we've seen loads and loads of awesome things too, like, potentially, potentially, if we go into the challenge screen, it says rescue Delson. I mean, what does that mean? It says defeat the thugs, but do you think you have to try and protect Delson's, like, hologram or something? At the same time, though, it's a little bit weird. It's a little, little bit weird. But hey, moving on, let's keep going. But then again, I mean, what could Delson do if they ever brought an expansion out for him? I mean, do you remember how the evil ending actually ended? It was so good. I mean, there's so much potential. He is now this massive badass douche with all these really, really awesome powers. I mean, that's kind of one thing I would like to see. I'd like to see where Delson would go next. And I don't really know... Oh my goodness, I don't know where he'd be able to go next. I mean, obviously he's got to go to Curtin K. But at the same time, I'd love to see more about him and Fetch. I mean, from what we've seen of Fetch, Fetch is so, so cool. But at the same time, I want to see Delson with Fetch. Or have Fetch in the spotlight and Delson as a secondary character or something. I don't know, I mean, Delson needs to continue being part of this game. He is easily one of the better protagonists compared to Cole, personally, potentially, to me. I mean, what do you think? Curtin's forced him out and they had to run. Got pinned down near the ferry terminal. How many tracksuits they up against? Lots. Why? You excited to be the Grim Reaper again? Racking up a body count? I'm just doing this for Brent. <laughs> oh, come on. I watched you last time. Big old smile on your mouth, rage in your eyes. You were into it. I'm fine. That was kind of weird, kind of creepy. So the guy's called Shane. What have I been calling him? Just weapons arms dealer or something. Oh, creep. No, 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 no. I was calling him... <laughs> <laughs> I was calling him the anti-baker or something once I, or bad baker. He kind of looks like Troy Baker, but really, really douchey and creepy. Like, as we've noticed, all of the sentences that he says are all really bad and, you know, they just, he just doesn't make him look like a very good guy, does it? Oh, there we go. Ooh, we've got five upgrade points too now as well. Okay, so we're gonna go do some sniping. Snipping, I mean, is anyone excited for that? I mean, it's kind of weird too that... Fetch is starting to do all this snipery stuff. I mean, obviously the Neil was kind of like a sniper ability, especially when you're playing as Delts and you have to do all the zooming and the slow-mo and the ponage from long range. But I mean, could you see Fetch being like a... I mean, she's... What's really weird, this is one one, this is one, one, one thing that I don't know if anyone's ever noticed, but there's always a lot of female snipers in video games. It's generally not male snipers, it's female snipers. Which is, I mean, I can't complain, that's kind of cool, but... I got oh, yeah, so down there taking cover around one of my trucks. Keep them alive. They'll back you up once Jenny hacks that phone and we go on the warpath for your brother. Oh, that is a lot of dudes. Oh, the cars! Awesome! Get to blow the cars up. Blowing them all up. Oh, wait, there's a sniper over there. Oh, is that a rocket launcher, dude? Can't shoot him. Pinpoint. Not that good. <laughs> oh, wait! Oh, wow. That is a zoom. That is what I'm talking about. 
That is a lot of dudes. So wait, are we just stopping them all from getting to the other side of the car park? Wait a minute! Seriously, why would you want to battle against a neon crazy biatch? Me personally, I would just run the other direction. That is a lot of explosions. <laughs> Should we just let the, the weapons dealers just take down the ones? I think so. Actually, we'll focus on the snipers for now. I think we should just focus on the snipers. I'm like a blue-arrowed cupid popping you all in the face! <laughs> Sharing all the love through ponage. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I've got to say this. The explosions in this game, or at least this expansion, are so good! <laughs> oh, just, I, I, I love Michael Bay effects. You get on over to the other front. Front? What, is this a war now? Uh, kind of. You and me stole those guns. I arm up my boys, they start kicking in doors looking for Brent, and the occurrence uh, quite naturally get pissed off. It's a gang war. <laughs> and you started it. Fine, I'll help you guys. Oh, come on, don't be sour. We're whooping ass here. And once Brent's back, that shouldn't be the end of this arrangement. You and me working together, oh, we could move mountains. Mountains of very, very profitable drugs. No way. Dupes will be here soon. If I end up locked in Curtain Cape Prison, I'll never get my brother back. Just focus on Brent. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Wait a minute, he mentioned the drugs minions. This is the bad thing, this is the thing we were worried about. So Shane must get her on drugs then. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, indeed. This isn't good. Oh, boy. We didn't, we didn't want it to happen. We thought maybe she was just addicted to lumens. <laughs> But it seems not to be the case. Shane is her gateway to falling into the, the naughty things, the, thing, the, the sniffing, the the injecting, the... What else do you do? How else do you... I don't even want to know how you intake stuff like that. It's just disgusting. It's, no, 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 Put it in a cake. You can put it in the cake. Brownies! There you go. Awesome. Right, so we're going to go that way, but I've just noticed there's another little pink looming thing over here. So we're going to go grab that quickly. Are they all in the air? Yeah, look, it's, eh, it's right there. Look. How would you... How would you get that one? Wait a sec. Ooh, wait a minute. Maybe you'd throw. I mean, wait. Ooh, let's just try it over here first. I mean, maybe you could just throw yourself off like this. What? No, no, it's still. I'm thinking you do it from over there. Look. If we just hop over here a second. Right. Let's try and do a run and jump from here. I think this would be. A, this would be a good angle. This would be a good angle. Right. One, two, three. <laughs> Missed it. <laughs> That was a, it was a good try though, right? Let's just keep going. I don't really want to worry about that. I'm not spending the entire stream trying to collect a lumen. Oh dearie me. Oh wait, this is, this is where we saved our first human traffic victim. Hi everybody. I'm I'm Proxy. Are getting desperate. I'm betting they throw everything they got at my boys huddled up near the needle. Good. Hope is in a current parade. Saves me the time of running them down. <laughs> there she is. Bye. 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 Boom shakalaka! Oh, kicks! Look, I, I have the power to kick people through trucks! <laughs> Ultimate clippage. Shane's men, there are only five left. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay, so we've got to protect them then. I see, I see. Oh, there's some. Wait a minute, is there some up there? Oh, we got some snipers, look. Oh, aerial kickage! That was awesome! Hi there, buddy! What's he doing? <laughs> He's teabagging the floor for some reason. Boom shakalaka! Yeah, yeah, oh! Oh, that was violent. That was just violent. We're doing so balsamly. Whoa! Okay, so the blue lines are rocket launchers. I see it now. See ya! <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, we subdued someone! Oh, well, there we go. So you can actually do the nice way, too. Awesome, awesome. Like Spider Man, like freaking Spider Man. Okay, where's everybody else? Oh, oh, that guy's got a rocket launcher. It seems that her melee is not very strong. I mean, I'd like to try to maybe potentially upgrade that. Boom. Oh, look at that. You see the mafioso? He kind of looks like that white shirt wearing dude from Left 4 Dead 2. <laughs> see ya. What? Oh, get back, get back, get back. Need to find some neon. You see any neon? I can't see any neon. Uh, there's not as much neon as smoke. Smoke's like one of the main things in this world. Oh, there are so many potential pickings! Did I get one? Oh, 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 oh. Grenade, grenade, be careful with grenade! Whoa! That was lucky. That was too lucky. 
Saying that, do we need Neon? Let's take some Neon just in case. Dropkick of death, exactly. Do your Super Fang. Oh yeah, we could do our Super Fang. Should we do our Super Fang? Let's do the Super Fang. One and a two winner. Super Fang. I love as well how you just walk. Oh, look at that walking around like a complete boss. That's right. Super bitch, super bitch. Caught the last bit of that light show. You sure seemed worked up, dishing out all kinds of pain. Gave me chills. I'm just doing this to help my brother. I don't enjoy it. He and I don't do things like this. Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> you don't want old Brent to find out about the real you, huh? The Grim Reaper you? The one I happen to cherish so much? Brent keeps me alive and safe. When people see things like what I just did, they freak out. I can't lose any more family. Well, if it's a chokehold on your rage that keeps your brother around, you're ready to tighten your grip. Jenny cracked that occurrence phone. We know where they're keeping hostages. Are you serious? When you're ready, you meet me in front of the Latte L on Madison. It's go time. Oh, wait a minute! So we know where we're going now. We know, we know our destination. That was really awesome though. Really nice little battle there. This is cool! This is cool, and another thing as well is that a lot of people have been saying, one well, from what I've noticed on the internet, that Fetch is kind of more interesting than Delson. I mean, do you agree with that, or do you think Delson was cooler? I mean, personally, I don't know. I think, I think they're equally cool, they both got their own strengths and weaknesses, don't you think? I think so. I think so. Okay. First things first, we get a Lumen for free, yay! And is this, the, is this the highest one? Let's have a look, let's, let's just enjoy the view! Uh, actually, after we fall down to our doom. <laughs> Let's try that again. I want to see... I mean, I this is one thing. I never actually took in the, the sights of Infamous. And so I'd like to actually see the range of the... I mean, that looks cool, don't you think? That's really pretty. I mean, look at all the smoke stacks and the smoke chimneys and the little smoke chimneys and everything that has smoke in it because obviously this place is made for Delson, but still, it's kind of cool. Oh, wait! There's a human trafficker thing to do over there. I mean, we are kind of like Batman, so let's go do that. <laughs> let's save more people. <laughs> Liam Sheeson, let's do this shizzle. Wait, where are they? Where are they? Are they just on here? Ooh. Oh, hi there. Boom shakalaka. One thing I'd really like to see is possibly being able to do, like, a multi-execution. That would be awesome. Oh, you want to escape proxy? I don't think so. <laughs> Take that hooded man. I saved you. Ooh, they're going to use you as a... Ugh. <laughs> as a sock. Right, let's just keep going. Right, so we're going to go over that way, but we've got loads of upgrades. <laughs> you just enjoy looking at Dulcimer. I see what you mean there, LFC. Look at that cheeky little grin. <laughs> I won't tell if you don't. Right, let's keep going. I can't see any screen tearing on my end. Is people is there a people seeing screen tearing? It might just be the stream. I think it might be just be the stream. I mean, obviously, it's not one to one. Watch out for that train. <laughs> Right, so this might be the area where we get to finally- What the fudge just happened then? Did I go through the grate? I must have gone through the grate. I didn't know I could go through grates. That's kind of cool. But, as we noticed, we're going to potentially go find Brent in a second. But I keep getting distracted by things. Look, there's even another graffiti thing over here. Let's do one of these again. I love doing these. Splat, splat, ba splat, splat, ba splat, splat, splat. Oh my goodness, it's a bamboozle. It must be a Bambi. It's a Bambi. It's got to be a Bambi. I think this is going to be a Bambi. Can you just use the analog stick? You can't use the analog stick for this. I'm sure you can do that, change that in there. It's a deer. It's got to be a deer. Or is it a... Is it a deer? I, it's a really weird looking deer. Maybe it's a cow. I don't know. Wait, what? No, 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 no. It's a horse. Do you think it's a horse? We're going to find out in a second. No, that's a deer, baby. Two that's a deer. Beauties spotted in the Emerald City. That looks really cool. Look at that. The blue and pink really works together. <laughs> I don't think it's a cow. <laughs> If that's what a cow looks like, then that's that's really, really creepy. But one thing you may have noticed is that she's kind of doing artwork that's... I feel like it's not really looking like a llama, is it? It's a deer. It looks like a deer. I think what she's doing, though, she's doing like a, a Brent and Fetch version, do you think? So it seems that a lot of these things are... Obviously, this one's got the mohawk one, but obviously it's antlers. And then you've got Fetch. And so I'm thinking that's what it's like. It is really pretty, though. Really, really pretty. Cow, it's a cow. It's not a cow! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna argue against that. If that's what a cow looks like where you live, then I'm slightly worried about where you live. 